Trial of Jesse Smollett, accused of lying to police about an alleged hate crime, begins Monday with jury selection the former Empire actor, who is black and gay, has repeatedly denied staging an attack on himself, insisting two men struck him, yelled anti-gay and racist remarks, put a noose around his neck and poured bleach on him on a cold January 2019 night in the Windy City. Jury selection begins Monday morning for the trial, in which Smollett, 39, is charged with six counts of disorderly conduct on suspicion of making false reports to police. He has pleaded not guilty. A disorderly conduct charge for a false crime report is a Class 4 felony in Illinois, punishable by up to three years in prison and a $25,000 fine. A judge would determine whether convictions on multiple counts would yield sentences that run concurrently or consecutively. But that set off debate over whether Smollett had received preferential treatment, leading a judge to appoint a special prosecutor, former U.S. Attorney Dan K. Webb, to look into it in August 2019. The trial begins to wrap a case that captivated a nation for weeks in pre pandemic times, and has been anything but a boon to Smollett's acting career. After friends and fans and Hollywood rallied around Smollett, horrified that anyone would so brazenly attack him, that support shrank and many turned on him when police alleged he staged it. Smollett's character was written out of the Fox drama Empire and though he has since directed and produced a film, he's yet to appear in another TV or film acting role. The staging allegations also led some to lament that it might unfairly cast doubt on future victims of hate crimes. How the case unfolded Smollett told police that two men attacked him outside, near his Chicago apartment, around 2 a.m. on January 29, 2019, as he was walking back from a subway sandwich shop, authorities said. Smollett, who played a gay character on Empire said the attackers yelled, Empire F A asterisk 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 T and Empire in asterisk 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 while striking him, police said. The incident ended with a noose around his neck and bleach poured on him, police said. The actor said one of the men shouted, this is Make a Country a reference to then-President Donald Trump's Make America Great Again slogan, according to police. Police initially investigated the case as a possible hate crime. Chicago police body camera footage shows officers speaking with Smollett that day, as officers enter his apartment, he's seen wearing a sweater with a white robe tied in a noose around his neck. Tracing their steps in reverse, investigators tracked them to a cab ride, and then a ride share car. A check on that ride share order ultimately led police to identify the men as brothers Olabinjo and Abimbala Osandero, authorities said. The brothers flew to Nigeria hours after the alleged attack. When they flew back to Chicago on February 13, 2019, investigators met them at customs when they returned, authorities said. After police detained and interviewed the Osandero brothers, authorities said they were getting a different idea about the case. On February 21, 2019, Chicago's then police superintendent Eddie Johnson announced that Smollett was being charged, saying that Smollett knew the men and paid them to stage the attack. The brothers, who police said had been extras on Empire were released without being charged and testified before a grand jury. Johnson laid out a series of allegations, including that, days before the assault, Smollett first attempted to gain attention by sending a false letter to the Empire set that relied on racial, homophobic and political language. It contained white powder and a drawing of a stick figure hanging from a tree police have said. According to prosecutors that month, Smollett told one of the brothers that he was disappointed in the Empire team's reaction to the letter. So, Smollett paid the brothers $3,500 to attack him, to take advantage of the pain and anger of racism to promote his career Johnson alleged when announcing the initial charges. Investigators obtained a check Smollett used to pay a Bimbala Osandero, prosecutors said at the time to bolster their case, authorities cited text messages and records of phone calls between the parties. The alleged pot's electronic trail dated to January 25, 2019, when Smollett texted Abimbala Osandero and said, might need your help on the low. You were around to talk face to face, prosecutors alleged. Smollett took the brothers to near the site of the purported attack, and they rehearsed it, before Smollett gave the brothers a $100 bill to buy clothing and rope for loose, prosecutors alleged. Phone records indicated Smollett talked to the brothers about an hour before the alleged attack, an hour afterward, and after they left the country for Nigeria, the authorities said. Smollett had wanted to draw attention to himself partly he was dissatisfied with his salary Johnson alleged. In March, 2019, Smollett attorney Patricia Brown Holmes said Smollett did pay the brothers, but only for nutrition and training. 
they were his trainers she said. Smollett's attorneys always maintained he was innocent. That same month the office of Cook County State's attorney Kim Fox suddenly dropped all charges. We believe he did what he was charged with doing the Gats told WLS. The day charges were dropped, Smollett's attorneys released a statement saying the actor was a victim who was vilified and made to appear as a perpetrator as a result of false and inappropriate remarks made to the public, causing an inappropriate rush to judgment. This entire situation is a reminder that there should never be an attempt to prove a case in the court of public opinion the statement reads. That is wrong. It is a reminder that a victim, in this case Jussie, deserves dignity and respect. Johnson and Chicago's then mayor, Ram Emanuel, expressed outrage over the dropped charges. This is without a doubt a whitewash of justice and sends a clear message that if you're in a position of influence and power, you'll get treated one way. Other people will be treated another way Emanuel said in March 2019. Latest set of charges filed after special prosecutor steps in a retired Illinois appellate court judge eventually initiated a petition to appoint a special prosecutor to check how the Cook County prosecutors handle the case, and to decide whether Smollett should still be prosecuted. A Chicago judge appointed Webb as special prosecutor in August 2019. Webb took the case to a second grand jury which indicted Smollett with the latest charges in February 2020. At the time, Smollett attorney Tina Glandian said the special prosecutor has not found any evidence of wrongdoing whatsoever related to the dismissal of the charges against Mr. Smollett. Rather, the charges were appropriately dismissed the first time because they were not supported by the evidence Glandian said. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.